Do communities stop listening to bushfire warnings the more warnings they receive? Warning fatigue has been dismissed as a myth, but my research has proved it's real. I found that warning fatigue exists and contributes to warnings being dismissed and bushfire risks underestimated. I developed a warning fatigue measure and found the level of warning fatigue changes over a fire season and may be influenced as much by media reports as official warnings. My research allows emergency managers to understand why communities may be warning fatigued and how they can create warning messages that mitigate this effect.